What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back with another awesome video for you today. This is going to be how to build a golf simulator. All right, specifically a DIY golf simulator all by yourself. And I'm gonna show you some new components along the way. Specifically, you're looking at the new Carl's Golf Enclosure, specifically the C-Series. You're gonna notice that image actually is coming all the way to the ground for a very seamless experience. I'm gonna show you the details on that, on how it works. I'm gonna show you a time lapse of how I built this entire setup all by myself, that's one of the key things. Can't tell you how many emails I get from people that they're like, listen, uh, you know, I've got this space in my garage, what can I get to you know, kind of do a DIY setup? You know, I just wanna set this up really easy in my garage. Well, that's it. I mean, I did this all by myself in about an hour and a half. Now I'm gonna also show you this new Carl's Hotshot mat that they have. We'll take you through some of the other details of this build, including the projector that we're using. This is the BenQ 820. All right, so the LH820ST is a very unique projector that has very short throw, and it actually has a lot of features like corner fit, obviously very nice laser image. I'll take you through some of those details as well. But first, I'd really like to kind of ask you guys a question, all right? I did a home golf simulator giveaway. It seemed to be pretty successful feeling a little cheery for the holidays, wondering what you guys think. I'd be interested in maybe running some type of you know, video or contest in the future, giving away this Carl's C enclosure and this new hotshot mat system. Comment below any ideas or thoughts you have on that. Um, I kind of started a trend. I noticed a few other channels starting to do some giveaways right after we did our first one, so uh, pretty cool to see that, you know? But let's start off by showing you guys the time lapse of how I built this home golf simulator all by myself. Check it out. All right, guys, so first thing is always to put down my turf and mat and get organized, and then I can start assembling all the poles, which go together pretty easy with the bolts. And then I'm gonna tarp over that enclosure material, grab my screen, which actually is easy identifiable now with the Carl's logo in the upper left, hang that up. Once I get that all nice and tight and arranged, I'm gonna hang up my projector with that easy two by four mount, get it adjusted. And then before you know it, I set down the SkyTrack Plus and I was hitting my first shot. So overall, very easy installation that took me just about an hour and a half. So now let's take a closer look at all the components. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I kicked the lights on and I wanna show you each and every component and how it all works in detail. Let's start by looking at the Carl's Hotshot mat. So this is actually the four by five size. They make it all the way up to four by nine. Now if that's something where you're using a side launch monitor like the SkyTrack Plus in this case, maybe you consider going wider just because it'd be easier to have it sitting on the mat, but maybe you just do something like I have. Very simple, you brace your side launch monitor up up, it's not a big deal at all. I just wanted to point that out. If you're using something from behind, like the FlightScope Mevo Plus, Garmin R10, Rapsodo uh, MLM2 Pro, anything like that, you're not gonna have to worry about it. You can just put it behind all of this. Um, but, you know, it might be a ceiling mounted unit you're using, and that makes it easy. I just wanted to point that out. But let's talk about the details of the mat really quick. So, very heavy duty rubber base. All right, this thing is not gonna go anywhere. You know that it's sturdy. Um, now, if you're moving this around, just have a fair warning that it's very heavy and it's put together with some intense rubber pieces. I had to stomp those down. So maybe not the easiest to move around, but very heavy duty and a nice deep pile that takes real tees. So that's nice. Um, now. I'm always very transparent. I'm gonna to talk to Carl's about this. Maybe it's just my insert, but I've been working my butt off to try to get this thing to sit flat and I just can't do it. Um, you know, I don't know if it got damaged in shipping or what, but you can see the red dot from the me or I'm sorry, uh, the SkyTrack Plus actually move every time I put it down. And so it can be a little distracting. I mean, I've already hit balls on it. It's working fine, but wanted to point that out. Now, the lights are on, so it might not be the best image with all these bright lights on, but our BenQ LH820ST is doing a great job. I have it very you know, DIY mounted with a two by six running across my garage door rails. Now, if you're gonna do something like this, please be careful. Make sure that, you know, that it can handle the weight and you know, you know you're doing something safe. But if you can do something like this, it's really easy using this projector. It has a very short throw. It has awesome features like corner fitting, uh, a laser light source with a lot of lumens, and that way you know you're getting a good picture. I mean, check out the seamless look of the new Carl's 
C-series enclosure. I love how the screen goes all the way to the ground. Uh, mine isn't quite touching. I kind of like where I have it right now because it just looks so nice and smooth. Um, this is the premium screen. I always recommend going premium. Uh, many reasons, a little bit quieter, absorbs the ball, even the uh, you know, definition of the screen, it's gonna give you the best quality coming from your projector. That's something to understand. People don't know if you get a very rough screen, you're not gonna get as nice of an image. Now, if Velcro is your thing, Carl's enclosure, you're really gonna love because there's all kinds of Velcro, <laughs> all right? So if you're good at it, you can get it to look really nice. I'm not the best, so mine looks okay, but then again, I built this whole thing in about an hour and a half, so I'm sure I could get it a lot better. Let's show you though how the C-Series works. So it's very unique. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna see uh, a bolt on both sides, and then the cable that is actually, it comes inside the screen. You don't have to worry about fishing it inside. And that cable has threads, and you just take this bolt and thread it onto the cable, all right, and tighten it down. Now, when you're doing that, you actually attach the top using zip ties, and you want to actually just do it loose at first, make sure that it's touching the ground, and then slowly pull the screen up to where it's just touching the ground or just off the ground to your liking, all right? So, and then you have a, still a nice smooth image with give. I'm gonna hit some shots here in a second and show you that. But uh, other than that, you have some ball bungees, I mean, super simple to put those on. That kind of is how everything ties on to the back. You actually have uh, like a female fitting pole and with bolts, that's how the other poles go inside and connect. And then you'll even see there's a brace on the back. So you know you have support the way it sticks out. Um, I always tell everybody, you know, start with a few feet and then work your way back. I don't want you with holes in your drywall or anything. Um, a lot of times it only takes about a foot, but just wanna make sure you understand that. Um, but other than that, I mean, this is it. This is very simple. We've got our PC hooked up to the projector. Let's hit some balls and show this in action. All right, guys, I kicked the lights off so you have kind of a better view of the screen, and it's time to hit some balls and put this thing in action because I want you to be able to not only hear, but also see the bounce back of this screen. So obviously the ball impacting the screen makes a noise. So that's something a lot of people pay attention to. And then the bounce back, I have it pretty tight right now uh, for the bottom, you know, being almost to the ground and then uh, no wrinkles or anything, which is really nice. Ball barely came back and hit the mat, which is a really good thing. Not a bad strike. I'll take that after, you know, filming and building for a few hours. Nothing wrong with that. And even with the movement in the mat, like we talked about, Skytrack seems to be doing a decent job picking it up here too. So let's hit another ball and we'll talk about a few more things. Not the best strike in the world. Looks like it's still gonna get there though. Just a little, no, I got there. That wasn't bad. Just a little bit thin, that's all. A little lower launch angle. Let's hit one more for you guys. I do like that I'm in an empty garage, uh, no like big sound, you know, absorbing material, and this thing isn't cracking really loud. I think that's important. <sighs> hit that one a little bit better. Yeah, still has that little cut to it when I don't close the face. All good shots, I'll take all those, no complaints. Yeah, only a degree higher in launch angle, but still. So overall, this is everything you need. If you're looking how to build a golf simulator, you just need to know you need a hitting mat, you need some type of screen or enclosure, you might do turf or not, it's not necessary. You need a projector and an HDMI cable to run down to either a mobile device or computer. And then of course the core is gonna be your launch monitor. And there's various types of launch monitors, whether it be a rear type launch monitor, a side launch monitor, a ceiling type launch monitor, all kinds of options. I wanna be able to help you guys. Shoot me an email, all right? I'll pin it at the top of the comments and put it in the description. I'm really excited to hear what everybody has to say in the comments about maybe a future giveaway of the Carl's C-Series uh, enclosure and also this uh, hot shot hitting mat. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video on how to build a DIY home golf simulator. Let me know what you wanna see next down in the comments. We'll talk to you guys soon.